Mike 13. For some unpeculiar reason, some bitch ass nigga from their hood took it upon himself to walk up and bomb on me and my job. Next thing you know, I'm like, why the fuck did he do that? And I stole back. We start, we start getting down on the lock of temp. You know, I rushed him, put him down on the ground, you know, with no extras. The bitch ass nigga was on the ground, knocked out with a black eye. His nose was broke. This other hardcore came from C High, bombed on me in the back of the head. I turned around, dug his bitch ass out. Then a third nigga came, you know what I'm saying. Me and Cuz started locking. Oh, my mama, I was seeing him. Then the security guards came, tried to get me to stop squabbling. And I stole on one of them, knocked him out. And then the guards was all over me. I got my head busted. They tried to subdue me. I fought them off me. They got up out of there and escaped. That's how I went. Even the motherfuckers at the... Oh, you were good fighter. You were good fighter. The Korean lady that owned the t-shirt store in the slots of Swabby. If she remember me, this black image, she'll say what she said then. Oh, you fight very well. You fight very well. Oh, that monster very good. Oh, neighborhood, now you crit. For the people out there that might be watching this video, can you explain what it's like to do a drive-by? And why do you even do drive-bys? <laughs> somebody a pass when you really normally wouldn't have? Well, no. I always took advantage of what the fuck I had to do because I felt with the good shots in my war wounds, you know, the chunks of my tears, I was never given a pass, you know? The only reason I wasn't out of here is because the motherfucker couldn't shoot straight or, you know what I'm saying, I was running too goddamn fast. Me, myself, I'm a lot closer in person. The last thing you're going to ever see it's my black ass walking away after I get through cutting your bitch ass down. Oh, neighborhood little Chris. I'm a nigga that walk up, either beat you down or gun you down. That's what I would prefer because I was good with both, you know. But especially, I prefer to be the bitch ass coward nigga down that would do a drive-by, especially and kill and hit an innocent little kid. That's what makes it bad for the Crips and the Bloods on the whole gangbanging tip, and that's why the white man is cracking down right now. Explain something to me. What's the major difference between floods and crips? The differences are the neighborhoods and the weak and the strong. You have the strong, which is the crips, and then you have the weak, which is, you know, those other guys. Within the last 14 days, eight people have been killed in this area right over here, uh, not too far from where we're standing in Los Angeles. Can you explain, you know, to people out there what's going on between the, the, the wars uh, in that area? Are things speak on or what? And it's just a sign of the times, brother. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Shit is just gonna, you know what I'm saying, happen regardless, you know, if you have a word in on it or not. It's just a sign of the times, man, and you know, you have to go with the flow and, you know what I'm saying? Make sure your motherfucking turn don't come before it's time. I remember when I was little, when you killed somebody, seven years was like, but now, if you kill a motherfucker today, you get 25 right off the top. And probably more than that. So, with that in mind, why would you even let banging enter your mind? It ain't worth it. It's, it's no more excitement to it at all. The game is over. It's a done deal. 
too many niggas are dying every day. Okay. Some that deserve it and some that don't. I would like to give a shout out to my homeboy phone and Big Nine Ball from Nine O's Able to Crib. Rest in peace. I love you, homie. Feel strong, but you know, we can't do nothing but push on for our homeboys and hope to one day run across the haters that perpetrated the move like that. So, like you said, so we can let you on that note right there. You know what I'm saying? Press the up this morning for my homeboy back with Tate. Goes to the crib. I'm resting in peace right now. Goes to crib for life. And I'm in K every motherfucking day. Some of you other bitch ass niggas, I tilted the whole 40 for my niggas.